Okay, good morning everyone. And welcome to the LBC networking track. Everyone, I uh, hope you uh, had a safe and pleasant flight here to Vancouver or however transport got you here. Um, first, we have to do some thanks. Uh, I'd first like to thank Facebook, which are, is the networking track official sponsor. Uh, and in particular, I'd like to thank Alexi and Yes. Um, quite some time ago, they approached me and they said, uh, we're thinking about doing a networking track at LPC. Would you like to do that? Uh, they said that we would have complete control over the technical content, and uh, they would set up everything as it is nice and set up here right now, and uh, I decided that was a really good idea, so here we are, and that's how, why we're here right now. Um, I'd also like to thank the LPC committee, in particular Elena, because she was working directly with us the entire time to sort out all the issues that we had, and um, even with her busy schedule and things going on in her life, uh, she was able to attend to all of our things and solve all of our problems, so I very much appreciate all of her help. So let's give a big thank you to our sponsors and the LPC community. <laughs> so what's going to happen during the networking track? Well, we're going to have two days of networking talks. Uh, there's talks about BPF, and there's going to be some talks about BPF, and I think we even have some talks about BPF and also <laughs> BPF. More seriously, it's about uh, 50-50 split between uh, BPF-related talks and straight networking talks. I don't think that's neither a good nor a bad thing. Uh, some people may think there's a, too much emphasis on BPF. I think that's BS. The issue is we do have our traditional networking stack. We still have to water it and take care of it like a, like a, a delicate flower. But we do have BPF coming along, and it's new technology. It needs a lot of work. There is a lot of design decisions that need to be made, so it's the most active area right now, and that's all that the split between BPF and non-BPF talks mean. There's no other deeper meaning behind it. Um, and if you really, really like BPF, stick around for Thursday, because there will be a, a full day track of BPF uh, uh, content with Dan run by Daniel and Alexi. So come on Thursday if you want to look at more of that kind of stuff. Uh, some notes for the speakers. As I'm using right now, we have Daniel's old laptop that is shared and all the speakers can make use of. We've uh, synced all the presentation materials onto the laptop that you can use. Don't wait to the last second to send me another copy of your updated slides. I may or may not ignore you. Uh, you had quite a bit of time to submit things and in fact, technically speaking, we're way past the deadline at this point. Uh, so like I said, slides are preloaded. You can just use the shared laptop if you absolutely want to. You can use your own laptop, but get here before your time slot starts so you can get your laptop working before. You're not going to be given extra time because you, took, you couldn't get your laptop working uh, or it took too much time to do so. Our schedule is pretty tight. We overrun into the breaks a little bit here and there and even lunch to, to a certain extent. So please uh, respect other people's time and don't take more of your own than you need to, than is allotted to you. Um, if you get a bit of stage fright, or you're a little bit nervous while you're giving your talk, no problem. We got the Gamble Danks here. Just uh, take a shot of this, and uh, you'll be feeling fine. And you'll be able to finish your presentation with a smile. Um, I'd like to, in particular, thank the technical committee. This is a thankless job in a way because you have to judge other people's work. You have to say no to people and turn people down who are giving high quality uh, proposals to you because we just had so much material submitted to us. So I'd like to thank, in no particular order, Florian, Danielle, Jesper, and myself. <laughs> so let's give a big round of applause for the technical committee who did such a great job this year. Um, it's so funny, we always have this uh, situation that every time proposals are out and uh, about four or five weeks before, before the deadline, I get in a situation where I'm like, oh, are we going to have enough material? Oh, are we going to have enough material? And then about two or three weeks in, it's like, hey, everyone slow down. We have more material than we can use. So uh, we're constantly riding this roller coaster of uh, are people going to get their act together? And usually what people do is they wait till the last minute, and that's why we have that big rush towards the end. So uh, after I've experienced this three or more times, 
I can guarantee you I'm never moving the deadline for submissions. For, so you, you know ahead of time that you're never going to get the uh, opportunity to uh, be allowed to have a slide on the deadline. It's going to stick because you do have the material. You, do, you can come up with it, so please be on time. Um, we'd like to thank all the s proposal submitters, whether you got accepted or not. We very much appreciate the time and effort you put into submitting that proposal. And after the event is over, sometime on Thursday, we're going to put links to all the materials for the slides and the papers up on this URL at the bottom. Um, it's the URL, it's the, the, we've been maintaining the site for a while. It has all the abstracts and everything already. Daniel's been doing very good work on uh, maintaining that web page, so uh, that's great. A um, little bit of some feedback I've heard already that uh, we're taking into consideration uh, for the whole process of the proposal so far. Submissions seem like quote of a black hole. Uh, so like you submit your proposal and you, you don't get an act or anything. That sucks. We're sorry. We should fix that. Uh, either we will, as committee members, act, at least one of us, act your proposal in the future. Um, or we'll set up an automated mechanism for that somehow. So we totally agree with this feedback, and we will fix that. And we try to, do, we try to get into that mode with the uh, material submissions. We've been acting them as much as we can. Some kind of way to monitor the review process in some way, shape, or form. Uh, it's something we will look into. I understand it's a very a black box and an opaque process, and it's kind of not fun to be at the other end sweating like a kid trying to get into university acceptance. Uh, like what's going on? Are they even looking at it? Did they did they get it? Uh, when are they going to give me a response? Uh, what's going on? So the lack of feedback is definitely something we understand is an issue for people submitting proposals, especially since you have to make travel plans, arrangements, tell your management that you're going to go to this conference and give a presentation and whatnot. So we will definitely help you with that in the future. Submission deadline was early. I'm sorry. This is. I thought I was doing the right thing. Uh, I tried to model the deadline on last year's LPC time frame, and I just. It's too early. I should. I should have done it a month or or two uh, afterwards. Uh, so I'm sorry about that. Uh, we definitely agree that the submission was too early, and we'll adjust next time around so that it's uh, more favorable to its uh, having content, which is more up to date at the time that the conference occurs. So we'll get that sorted out. Um, that's the end of what I have to say for getting the sessions going. Uh, at 9.20, we'll have Jesper and company talk about X XDP. So we're looking very much forward to that. I wish everyone a great and fantastic time during the LBC networking track. Thank you all for coming out. And uh, please let me know if there's anything that needs to be attended to or some feedback you'd like to give. Or Daniel's available as well. Okay? Thank you very much. And let's have a great LBC networking track. Thank you. <laughs>